pleasure uh, to be here at West Neighborhood House for this uh, a wonderful announcement here and to highlight the new model of care for patients living with complex conditions in Davenport and all of Southwest Toronto. Uh, this health link and the announcement uh, to build on the funding that was announced last, uh, last year is really quite exciting for mental health and addictions and specifically for those patients with more complex mental health and addictions issues. These are the patients that tend to be seen by multiple providers, they tend to be seen multiple times in the emergency department, um, they tend to be very challenging to provide follow-up to, often they struggle with homelessness and difficulty with work and stable housing. So this kind of a program which really ties together all aspects of a patient's care to be able to meet all those complex needs in one spot is really uh, quite exciting and it's transformational for our patients. Yeah, I mean we've got the, the largest group of mental health patients in the, in the Toronto Central Lynn so it is an opportunity for us to um, kind of even do more than the mental health group already do. I mean, we've got a great care team at St. Joe's that looks after mental health and addictions. They have great connections in the community with our ACT teams and others, and this just allows us to broaden that out a bit farther. So this is a, a way of providing a coordinated approach to provide coordinated care to the sickest of the sick, uh, those with mental health uh, issues, those that have um, addictions, and the seniors in our community as well. So providing them a coordinated care, a care where uh, the physicians at the hospitals, the physicians in the community, the healthcare practitioner, the nurse, uh, the personal support workers are all coming together uh, along with the family and with the patient providing input in the proper care for that patient. We often get focused just on one thing on the patient. You know, when they come to the hospital, we're worried about how sick they are and how much medical care and, and nursing intervention and care we can give to get them better. But there's more to a person than that. They, they they have other they have other needs whether it be housing whether it be food uh, you know all the things that maybe we take for granted so to be able to uh, pull all the providers together and say we need to make sure that this person has end-to-end -end care uh, and end-to-end -end support in the community and I think bringing teams of people together to wrap them around that patient and say to the patient we're going to support you in every way um, will just allow them to live healthy quality lives in our community